Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sal and Mitzi. Fantastic. Mm, great. <laughs> Keep your paws off of her. How do you do it? <laughs> How do I do it, Todd? Honey, I take a lot of aspirin and I work out with Chuck Norris every day right after we study Torah. You know what? He's a good man. I don't care what you say. He's a saint. He's a mensch. Mm -hmm. He's not a Jew, mm -hmm. but he's still good. Still a mensch. No, but the truth is, Todd, darling, I've got an hourglass figure, but it's later than you think. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all truthfulness here, Todd. Uh, she used to be a 36D, now she's a 36 long. Oh, it hurts, but it's the truth. Mm. You know, my darling over here, uh, Sal, my greatest love, is a man with a big heart and an ass to match. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's another one. Listen, listen. She knows my motto. Love thy neighbor. I'm a giving man. And I give it to our next door neighbor all the time. She's an 18-year-old hooker. Oh, that's so true. Her name is Peaches, and she is gorgeous. Oh, she's a dream. Mm. Mm -hmm. She's got problems. <laughs> give me some of that curry. So, oh. Sal. Yes. How did it all begin? Mm. Mm. You really want to know? It wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up, buddy. Huh? Put it in fast gear. Put it in, Todd. Listen, the year was 1952. The city? Akron. I was a young boy looking for love in uh, all the wrong places. Mostly alleyways and bottles. <laughs> but seriously, ah! Akron's a hard place to be alone. And I was a young boy. I was trying to make it in comedy. And uh, I didn't know I was going to be around the next corner. What is the loneliest number that you'll ever do? One day, I went to work. I was a hostess at a restaurant called The Clam Digger. They have a fantastic Cobb salad, a very good Cobb. And um, I was putting on my French maid you know, costume for work. And I noticed in the hallway there was a photograph. And it was a picture of his nibs here. Yeah? It was a headshot right next to the 86 boys. Thank you. And I took one look into those, into that gay shaponum. I took one look and I said, Mitzi, this man is to be yours. He's to be mine and Anne Murray's and Anne Margaret's and an effort to check out the history. I was just at the eights. I'm just at the eights. All right, you're right. That is all okay, history. I'll let it go. Please. So we met at the clam digger and it was true love. It was true love. Now listen, the early years were rough, much like Mitzi's cookie. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Well, maybe it was because at first we didn't mesh very well. I am a water sign. And I am an earth sign. And together, we, we made mud. mud. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. In the front. Okay. Hey, Thank the you. Front loves us. Table Gorgeous. 36. Bring him, a Bring him something. Bring him something. Water it down. Well, Sal and Mitzi, you're successful playwrights. True. TV stars. Mm. Count it. Hollywood legends. Oh, that's of course. You have this new book, Rubbin' the Right Way. That's yeah, right it's now. out on, right now on the shelves. Yep. Why now? Hmm. Oh, Todd, you ask such probing questions, mm -hmm. and we appreciate mm -hmm. it, darling. The truth is, is that we're givers, and it was time for us to share uh, the beautiful story of our four-decade-long career. Mm -hmm. 
Listen, Tor, Rubbing the Right Way is the world's first uh, musical biography, and we were going to do it on stage yeah. at our book readings, like our life, which is a one big happy musical. It was really rough at the beginning, in fact. Um... Oh, come on. No, no. I'm like, I'm Come gonna... on. Okay. We couldn't even afford to have a dog. No. no. That's Sam. not a joke, Sammy. It's not funny. Fuck it. It's not funny. Our dog. He's always handed God our damn dog. it. Listen, we were so poor, we had to give our beloved dog, Schnecken, our French poodle, our French poodle, away for adoption. The greatest love of my life. And it God. went into our very first musical. It did. As one of our hit pen songs. Yes. And it went a little bit like this. <laughs> what I got, you got to give it to your mama. What I got, you got to give it to your papa. <laughs> give her away. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Thank you. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Domo. 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 Uh oh. It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh shit! Hey, help! I need some help. Well, let me get this. Help her. Mitzi, what's wrong? Oh. Is that you, Todd? Darling, Japan was such a dark time for me. God. We, um, we invested in the Hiroshima Casino and Resort. I thought location was everything. Sal took what money I had spent and he put it into a touring puppet show version of Lolita. He said he loved puppets. Oh, we lost everything, Todd. It's such a painful time. Are you getting this close up on me? Okay. Oh, Todd, I, let me just take a pill here. Let me find them, it'll, I'll feel better, honey. I just have, just, you can stop the camera now, honey. Okay. Oh, this is good. No, I, this is for medicine. If I'm not, I'll, I'll hold on one for a second. Oh, this is going to be so much better. It's going to be five minutes. This part. Oh. You sandwich eating motherfucking fat ass piece of shit. I hate you. I've never loved you. I fucking can't stand the sight of you. You fucking piece of quant, whore, oyster licking son of a bitch, spear chucking fuck! Sal, are, are you upset that, that Mitzi's passed out in the living room right now? She is? No! I'm just practicing for my kid show, Shut Your Trap. My little friend here. Say we do a bit together. It's kind of funny, right? Fuck you. No, fuck you. You little bitch. Shut your fucking little fucking trap. You know, you get it? It's a kid show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's it about? Eh, it's just about uh, kids and puppets and movies and cartoons. Got into a little trouble with the law. I took a swing at a cop. I was driving drunk. The judge was a complete freak. Sends me to community service. So I have to do this kid show called Shut Your Trap. This is where, this is the famous place, right here, Shut Your Trap. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this is, uh, I mean, basically, this is where we made our bread and butter. I, I gave, gave you my, 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 my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I'd have to charge. Not you, buddy. Go break in my heart. I couldn't if I tried. Nobody knows it. Nobody knows it. When I was down, I was your clown. Right from the start, you gave me your heart. Sal, <laughs> Sal, so, so, darling, 40 years ago, I gave you my heart, and you still have it. Mitzi, you have me at hello. Oh.
sing for you toward the uh, popular theme song to our hit show, The Cleveland Steamers. I hope you like it. <laughs> Shit on me when you're not strong and you need someone, someone to sit on. Crap on me, just crap on your mother. Get, get, oh. come on, get out of here.